Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The truck of Rudy is getting up. Well, got up and uh, is getting going. Yeah. Let's make our down to our delivery. Yes, indeed. I just uh, got about half an hour to make my delivery. I got 14 miles to drive. And I was just looking on Google there. There's one little red stretch in between here. So I'm really hoping I ain't going to be late. That would really suck. Don't like being late at all whatsoever, you know. So uh, let's get on down there and let's see if we can uh, make our delivery real quick. Because uh, I hate to be late and I didn't think there was a big city there, but I guess uh, there is a little bit of a city, I suppose. And, uh, I have to hurry up and get down there so that way we can get through that back up over there. Make sure we can make our delivery, feet. right? The entrance to the left on I-49 South I-40. Look like we had gotten a little bit of rain here overnight. So yeah. Anyways, let's go find out if we can make our delivery and uh, we will keep you guys up to date. Yes, indeed. Yeah, guys, this is what I was seeing on the uh, Google map there earlier. Got a little bit of a back up over here, and uh, this you don't see very often. I don't think you can actually see yet what exactly is transpired here. Well, let's take a look right here. There is a uh, four-wheeler that hit a cop. Look at that, right here to the left. There's a red car just about dismantled that cop car there. Look at that. Whoa, that looks like a head-on collision. That's what the guys were saying too, that uh, somebody was going the wrong way or whatever and they got into it at four o'clock this morning or something like that. In so, feet, yeah, they didn't play chicken very well. <laughs> yeah, well, it's nothing to laugh at, but I mean, uh, these, two, these things do happen more often than we want to admit, right? Eh? But yeah, uh, a cop with a regular car head-on collision. I don't see that very often. Matter of fact, I don't know if I ever seen that before. And especially with the way that cop car was dismantled, that, that was pretty bad. <laughs> looked like that was a pretty high-speed uh, collision there. That's what it looked like to me anyways, but... Yeah, it wasn't too bad of a back. I've only delayed me a couple of minutes, so we should still make it on time. Five miles. Take exit three. The I only have uh, five Ridge more drive. miles to go, and uh, it's only 20 to 8, so I should, uh, should be alright. Everything else looked good on the map there when I checked it this morning, so should be alright. Looking Coming out of there, looks like there's a pretty long back up over there, too. All people trying to get onto that road there, right? But yeah, anyways, we'll get back on to focusing on our road here too, so so that way we don't miss our exits or wherever we gotta go make our delivery, right? There we go, guys. We have gotten our load off. Yeah, we still haven't gotten our reload, though. That kind of sucks, but uh, yeah, well, what can you do, right? I guess I'll just go back to the truck stop and uh, wait for further Brace instructions. Yeah. Luckily, it's only 13 miles to the truck stop, so you don't really have to go far. Only problem is we got to go back by that accident in order to uh, get back to that truck stop, right? That's the only downside to it. That's going to be a bit of a delay over there, so... But luckily, it wasn't too bad. I mean, maybe by now it's cleaned up a little bit more. Maybe by now they have made a decision to finally clean her up, right? Apparently that happened at 4 in the morning or something like that, so... Yeah, well... Exactly 7 days ago, uh... In on today's video. Feet, turn right on I-540. I even had a, a 
video from where somebody died. I don't know if anybody died over here in this accident, but it's sad enough to see an accident like that. Never mind uh, seeing somebody deceased, you know. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the entrance to the, truck to the stop. left on I 540 North I 40. I guess we'll have breakfast then if uh, we can't get a reload. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess they're probably not really planning for anything because uh, I kind of told them last week that I'd be low on hours, but today I get roll low hours for the United States. So I actually had 11 and 3 quarter hours today. And I think tomorrow I get 11 and a half or something like that. So. I actually do get some pretty good hours come back to me, so I don't really have to worry about it. I mean, I told them when I was in Quebec, right, that I would be not really necessarily low on hours, but I told them by the time I get down to Toronto, I would have about 23 hours left, and then on Sunday I would start getting hours back for Canada, and that usually means on Monday you get hours back for the United States of America. That's right. But anyways, well, I guess we'll go back to the truck stop and find out what happens, right? Good thing is over there, we do have free Wi-Fi over there, so uh, I can actually go back there and uh, work miles. on my videos. Keep to the right on I-40 East, I-540 North. I actually did render yesterday's video, but I haven't really rendered the uh, 26, uh, uh, I'm all 26, uh, the 6th. I haven't really rendered uh, the day before his uh, video. Yesterday was the 7th. I don't know where I got the 26th from, but... <laughs> Anyways, the day before I haven't rendered that video yet. I was kind of waiting on uh, something here a little bit. Can't really tell you what I was waiting on, but I was waiting on something. And I thought I was going to get it last night, and I didn't. So... Uh, well, I might just go over there to the truck stop and uh, just render the video then anyways. Then that part ain't going to be in there, I guess. Then if we wait there long enough, that video would be rendered and I can start uploading it, right? <clears throat> they had pretty good speed internet up there too. I was pretty impressed with their internet there too, so try and get us the same spot or similar to where we were because that's where we had good connection there so oh, it looks like we're starting to see the backup over there already so because this is very close to where we got to take that exit ramp right got to take a few exit ramps up here but but yeah let's go back to the truck stop and then uh, we'll go from there right we have gotten us a reload offer which we have accepted yeah it looks like this month we're gonna be on the road quite a bit but uh, hey we kind of needed good miles you know we've been saying here for a good while that we needed some good miles and now we're getting there that's right so you want to guess where we're going well for those of you that check out my website you guys know but anyways uh, well, you know, you would have seen that seven days ago already, right? Because I just finished updating the website. And you guys are watching this seven days after the fact. So, for those of you that are not checking my website, where we're going, you would have no clue, right? <laughs> so, here's what's going to go ha go down. Uh, got us a reload to pick up tomorrow in Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. We got us 286 miles to go to pick up our load. We can pick up there anytime tomorrow between 8 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, as far as I understood. So, let's see which way we gotta go. Our day, you tell us, alright? That's what I figured. You were gonna tell us. Yeah. In a quarter of a mile, take the entrance to the left on I-49 South I-40. I calculated out my hours to make sure that I could actually do this trip. Be 
before I accepted the trip because, uh, as you know, I'm running on uh, 900 feet. Take the entrance to the left hours hours right I-40 now, right? South I-40. So, uh, so yeah, I do need to make sure I have the hours, right? So and that's what we did do. And I do have the hours to do it. Actually, a matter of fact, of speaking, tomorrow pick up there. Well, it's, you know, almost four days drive for me pretty much from right now. So on today is Monday. So if I pick her up tomorrow and then make my way down towards Edmonton, I could probably be there Saturday night, do a reset on Sunday. Unless, you know, things go wrong again. <laughs> so, I mean, even if I only left uh, Wednesday, that'll be Wednesday, thir uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's still four days. So, uh, so yeah. Continue on this road for 3.6 miles. We might do a reset there unless we get there Saturday and I can uh, have enough hours to come back for me for Canada that... Uh, would allow me to uh, just drop the trailer there at the terminal and then uh, go back home, right? I mean, that would be the only other option. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see exactly how that's going to go. But I was kind of hoping I was going to get a trip home or maybe to Toronto and then home, something like that. So that way I could be home for this coming up weekend. But doesn't look like that's going to happen, so I know uh, the wife is not too happy about that, and uh, nor am I, you know, I mean, I'm not going to complain about this trip. I do really want the miles, need the miles, so, but at the same time, I'm starting to miss my family, you know, like it's, I've been on the road now for over a week, and it's going to be another week before I'm home, so. So yeah, might be might be another a little more than a week, you know. I think even on Saturday, I might actually have to take Saturday off. I might have to calculate my hours, but or Sunday. I think on the 14th day we have to have 24 hours off in Canada, right? So I might have to take Sunday off anyways, regardless. I might not even be able to uh, just drop this load Saturday and get another one and go home, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at that because I left. Uh, I left on Sunday, so yeah, Sunday would be my 14th day. The 14th day, you have to have 24 hours off in Canada, so that's required. Don't really have to have reset, but I do have to have 24 hours off. But yeah, anyways, we gotta go back to the same area that we were at earlier, but. Uh, I'm kind of hoping ahead. that the traffic will have disappeared. I haven't really looked on the internet now, but whatever. We're going to go down there and pick up a reload. Alrighty, guys. Yeah. We're here at the Fly and J. The closest place that we could find to uh, our pickup. So we got about another hour to go before we would be at our pickup place. But I decided, you know what? This is the closest thing we can get. So we're parking it right here. Yeah, there was plenty of parking here when I got here. I mean, been here now for probably an hour. I was kind of hoping I could get a couple of videos uploaded. And uh, come to find out that all of these outdoor antennas ain't working. So I can't even get Wi-Fi out here. The internal antennas are working. They got internet on there. But then I got to sit in there all the, for a couple of hours. I don't really feel like doing that too much. But... And I think I should be good anyways. I think by Friday, I think by Friday I should be back in Canada if nothing goes wrong. So then I think I have videos till Friday, so I should be all right. And by that time we might have another few pilots or flying J that we stop in and we might get internet over there, right? So we might be able to upload videos over there. Although on Saturday it's going to be a fairly lengthy video, so uh, that one is going to be taking a while to upload. So, but anyways, figure I'd give you guys a little update on what we're doing. All right, guys, we are done for today. As you guys knew in the earlier clip already, we've been sitting here for a good while, 
And now it's time for us to call it a day. Yes, indeed. We'll go over there tomorrow morning. I'll probably be looking at the uh, Google map there and see how busy the traffic is. I probably won't be going in there super early because they only open at 8. And so I think around 8 o'clock I'll probably have crazy traffic in there. So, I mean, I can pick the load up there anytime between 8 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I thought it was 3 o'clock, but I checked the satellite there and that's 4 o'clock actually. So... We don't really have anything in the rush, but I would like to be down there for probably 10 o'clock. If we're down there for 10 o'clock, then uh, at least if we get loaded there maybe by 12 or something like that, then at least I can get out of there before the rush hour and uh, I can still make a few hundred kilometers to, to the, uh, tomorrow yet, you know. So, uh, so yeah, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this today, today's vlog. And if you did, rate it up subscribe if you haven't we would love to have you on board and uh, share this video if you wouldn't mind appreciate that there's all kinds of links and information down in the description box for those of you that haven't checked that out so go ahead and do that and we'll see you right here again tomorrow morning this is trucker rudy signing out <laughs>